Hello? Oh, great. Flight's on time? Yes. All right, I'll head to the airport right now. I cannot wait to welcome you guys back to town. Welcome back to Tampa, guys. We're very excited to have you here. I hope you guys had a wonderful flight. You certainly landed in the world's best airport here in Tampa. Uh, just to give you an idea or a taste for all the development that's going on in our wonderful city, you can just take a look at the airport. Uh, we are expanding out here as quickly as the city is growing. You know, the city's changed so much and really in just the last decade, uh, thanks to Mayor Bob Buckhorn, we have a thriving downtown right now and our business sectors are growing by leaps and bounds as is the residential. And so it's, it's really been amazing to watch the, the change here in our community from a number of different areas. Now we're coming down to Water Street, an incredible new development that's on over 50 acres of land and it's going to have over 900,000 square feet of mixed use, commercial, residential, retail. It really is a very, very unique, first of its kind, community in the entire United States. So we're very excited about this. Uh, they are on the the brink of opening some of the residential, some of the commercial uh, elements of Water Street, and uh, even opening a Publix. And I love my Publix. Our neighborhoods really define our city, and we have to ensure that uh, they are sustained and they're very, very resilient. We are one of only two cities in the United States that has our own waste to energy plant. And this location actually keeps two million pounds of trash from going out into the environment every single day. It really is an incredible facility. And we're also getting away from uh, the carbon fuels by turning our fleet to electric here in the city as well. This is a great example of just one of the ways that we are making a stronger, greener, more resilient Tampa. Transportation is a keen focus for us uh, here in the city of Tampa. It's a great need and not just to get our residents uh, where they need to be, but to ensure that we do that safely. And to that end, we are focused on complete streets. We're going through a roundabout here, and as you can see, the bike lane here as well. We are focused on keeping our motoring public, our pedestrians, and our bicyclists safe on our roadways. And as a result, we have signed on to Vision Zero. And that's a very lofty goal, especially in an area that is known for a high number of fatalities. And the goal there is to reduce our motor, pedestrian, and bicycle fatalities down to zero. So it's gonna take a lot of work, it's gonna take a lot of cooperation, and it's gonna take an understanding that everyone, everyone shares in the responsibility to keep our roads safe. Here's some new homes in uh, historic East Tampa, uh, showing the growth and the vibrancy, a part of a uh, city initiative. The majority of the, the homes uh, were purchased by residents of East Tampa. We also have a very surgical focus on rehabilitation and repair of homes as well, because people want to stay in the home that that they have a history with, that you know their 
family may have been born and raised in that particular home or it has been passed down through the generations. So we want to ensure that uh, all of our residents have the opportunity to live in the neighborhood that they choose and feel comfortable in. Affordable housing and workforce uh, housing are critically, critically important in the city of Tampa. And as such, we have another very bold goal that we are well on our way to realizing, and that is providing at least 10,000 affordable units by 2027. And we have no doubt that we will crush that goal. Uh, Mary Bethune is just one of the many projects that are in the works right now. Neighborhoods really are the heart and soul of our city. And it's so important that, uh, that we maintain the history and the culture of each of our neighborhoods because collectively they do uh, define the city of Tampa. And so that is a focus for us here in the city without a doubt is to maintain our culture, our history, to celebrate that as we grow into the future. This particular area here in West Tampa has been historically industrial. And as you can see now, it's making a transition into residential uh, and retail with a number of wonderful restaurants opening up in this particular area, which is uh, another great sign of the, the growth in Tampa. Having these neighborhoods pop up where individuals can live, can work, and can enjoy any of the retail or activities that they want to endeavor in without ever having to get in their car and drive anywhere. We have an incredible entrepreneurial ecosystem in the city of Tampa and so many uh, incredible businesses have started right here in the city of Tampa and it now have expanded around the world. We've also had so many companies move their businesses, headquarters, operations to the city of Tampa because of our exceptional quality of life, our low cost of living, and again, just the fact that we're the friendliest city in the nation. All right, guys, that's the tour of Tampa. Look forward to seeing you same time next year. And just take a minute and check out this view. This is one of the reasons that we live in Tampa.